Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 5. Now in the last part, apparently, uh, well, Blizzard Man's black, and apparently, uh, people have invaded Psylab, so now we gotta go and help out people there. I wonder if you could actually, uh, jack in via land's HP and do this from our own comfy home, but let's just go in here and see what COD's up to. We need your reinforcement. Glad to see you're doing so much to help too, though. I'm sure he's doing things. Helping out the cause and whatnot. But over here at the Scilab homepage, we can. Everything looks fine. There's our good old teleporty thing. I'm sure things are gonna be not good as soon as we get over here. Okay, that's good to know. But why exactly? Okay, well, there's Proto Man doing Proto Man stuff. Tackling four people at once, because he can totally handle that actually. And Shade Man, because he's here now too. What a surprise. Shade Man's revived too. Yeah, I suppose that means you've seen Blizzard Man. Okay, cool, I guess they know what's up. Now there's no need to buy time, I see. This is a well-orchestrated plan, I'll, I'll guarantee you that. Uh, the time has come for our master, I his ideal world of evil. <laughs> That's, uh, well thanks for blowing uh, their plans. I, it's always nice for when the, uh, guy, uh, the, the villains give their exposition, but I guess Shade Man's gonna bail and give us time to delete all these loyal servants. Well, there's four. There's gonna be four less Nebula Navis at the end of this fight, so that's nice at least. You're gonna- oh, no! So, you take care of them and- okay, so I get ya. Proto Man will take care of- we'll take care of the three and Proto Man will one-up us and take care of the four because he's so much cooler than us. I see how it is, Proto Man. We could take him- we could take on those four if we wanted to. You're not cooler than us. Uh, but that's beyond, beside the point. So let's get to virus busting. I'm gonna be switching off to my magnet soul because these guys are all water based and anything magnet based would absolutely wreck them. If it weren't for the fact that these guys all shoot in horrible- oh wait, I wonder, do they not gravitate me? Oh, they totally do. I wonder what's up with that. Uh, but it doesn't matter because luck is on our side and we get the one hit kill move. Not one hit kill, but one hit kill to anything below four, 400 or below health. And just totally wreck them. That's nice. That was so awesome that it just totally paused my screen for some reason. And now we have to deal with Katana guys. Ah, uh, uh, I hate Katana guys with a passion, I swear. Especially with a vacuum. I see what they're going to do. Luckily, that was quick and painless. Thank goodness I got that uh, full synchrono attack. And now these guys, okay. I see, I, I know a quick way of ending this quickly would be to scan Electric Dude and attack both of them, and there goes Electric Dude because. Oh, well, I took damage because of that, but that's fine. Because, oh, I thought you were gonna go up. What, what, such sporadic patterns. What's up with you, man? And that was number three. Yeah, we could take on a four, but I guess, I guess Proto Man's gotta be cool leader and whatnot. So then. Is that everything all accounted for? Great! I didn't expect Scilab to be attacked. We can't use it as mission for Colonel. Why not? Like, I don't understand why that's a bad thing, because it's not like... Oh boy, they're at the Scilab homepage. They're gonna... We can't do... Oh, I guess they could bug us and, like, pay attention to our conversations. I get it. Yeah, that's not good. Uh... So the dog's not a vision burst inhabitant after all. It was, a, it was a ruse. He was masquerading as a normal dog, but in reality, he was a special dog. What's up with that? Say so dead from the past moments in the real world. In other words, things that happened in the past keep on repeating themselves forever. But that dog, he was interacting with things, man. You can't do that. Yeah. So does Gal have something to do with the Ikari airport then? Obviously. Because, you know, why would Blizzard Man just steal a dog for no reason? But, can you jack out Oh, he's talking straight to the camera. Whoa, breaking the fourth wall, man. So Cod needs to talk. It's not like Cod is like not like right next to like land. Does he? Does Proto Man really need to tell him that they need to talk? Like really now? I'm assuming he's back at his desk though. Yes. Okay. So what's up, Cod? I I guess maybe if we didn't go here from a uh, Scilab, then that would have made sense. It's my fault that they got Gal. I'm so sorry. You know, use crying over spilled milk. <laughs> okay. Classic idiom, I suppose. So what are we going to do next? We don't know what they're trying to do, but now that they got Gao, it's probably going to be something horrible, no doubt. So what can we do to stop them? 
We have to hit. Okay, so Nebulous territory is the Undernet. Figures that they be hung, hanging out in the slums and dark, dark places. So we gotta stop their plans. Who cares? We're goddamn Mega Man. Seriously, stop being sissies here. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Quit being babies. It's not like you to lose your nerve. Exactly. What's up with you? Um. Well, that's because you suck to dogs. Come on now. Even if we delete those Nebula Dark Coils, they'll probably just regenerate. Whoa, Lan. I didn't realize you sucked so much. What is that? Exactly. I never thought I'd heard that from you. You saved the fucking world like four times over. What are you doing? You may be the team operator, but you're not the team leader. Hot damn. Throwing the leader card at him. Just leave the team command to Proto Man and concentrate best on what you can. Operating as best as you can. Okay. We have got a great leader to see us through. That's good. We're a team. You're not fighting this alone because friendship, you know, <laughs> I swear to God, that has to be a theme of every single video game ever. But I want us to plan the next mission, but I can't. Uh, yeah. We can't use this place as a missing control to find us a new place. Something that's quite big and hard for the enemy to find, right? We could use the deserted island. I swear to God, no one's ever there. Be quick, oh, but I guess we can. We'll find us a great secret base. Is there? Are they gonna give us any hint on where we want to actually find this? Uh, who should we talk to? Oh, thank you, game. <laughs> if I didn't know where to go, we'd be just wandering around forever. But mail is gonna give us. We got mail for mail. We got roll SP. Now roll SP would do 90 damage instead of 60, which is nice and heal us for 90 damage. Sadly, again, I don't think we have anything useful that's R coded. So there's no really use in doing that. I mean, for one and oh, we have tornado and crack bomb, but we don't we don't need crack bomb. Ooh, slasher! I don't know how to use slasher, but wood knows. Okay, there's a nut. There's actually a lot of stuff good for R, but I don't think I'll be. I don't want to edit my folder right now. I'm too lazy to do, to do that. Yo, man, did you hear about that infiltration going on? Okay, good. <laughs> I was glad you actually did. I'm I'm sure you tried to do something to help at least. But anywho's. The place we need to go next is rather cryptic, but we'll be going there nonetheless. Maybe, I, I, I'd imagine this place would make more sense in Team Colonel, because in Team Colonel, Higsby is actually a partner, but now he's, uh, in this game he's not, so like, what's up, man? Uh, there you are, huh? Because that's his catchphrase when I, <laughs> his filler word is huh, just like mine is um, and I say um way too much. Actually, a big space, huh? I know a place, huh? Okay. So, we gotta help us out with something. Scratch my back, scratch his. You know how that works. You need a price to pay, huh? <laughs> well, damn. What do you have to do? Number man was suddenly attacked by viruses while delivering products to end area 3 and he dropped something. That's not good. You destroy his shop's reputation. Yeah, maybe if he didn't suck at fighting viruses, that wouldn't be a problem. But that's okay. Not everyone can be as awesome as Mega Man. Area and area three is a pretty big area to search. It's not like, well, it's not like we had to search like it's bigger. We've had to go through the goddamn like boonies just to find some of these hidden places, man. Well, looking at something cool. There's only one thing cool in end area three. Um, so let's just be. <laughs> I said it again. I've been trying to make it like very, very like. I've been making a very, very strong mental note to stop saying filler words. Or at least the um filler word. I'm still full of fill. I'm I'm filled with filler words in my commentary, but that's one thing I'm trying to break away from. <laughs> and that's just problematic. It's a tough habit to kick. I'll be honest. But here we are. We want to go to Gargoyle.com. Luckily, since we got this password code, this is not nearly as as cumbersome as it would be otherwise. Because where we have to go is just right here. Awesome. And check behind the pagoda because you know that makes total sense. So awesome. Quick and painless. Now we don't have to do... We didn't even have to cut that. Whoa, what, what are you doing at our house, man? What is this? Hanging out with a mom? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I guess we're cool with that. May will be living at her house for a while, so they, she so she can tutor me? Uh, what is she... What, okay. What a jokester. Okay, so I guess Mail's living at her house. That's cute, I guess. Um, is there no one in her house? Well, I guess not when, you know, her entire house is just her room. I guess so. Well, that's nice. That's totally OTP. I'm calling it. I'm just, I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. So Higsby, I got your things. That's the. We prevented the worst scandal ever. We could, we could have blackmailed him. We could have got some free trips on the side. That would have been cool, right? 
But first of all, attention to all customers. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Um, really? <laughs> how, how dick? I was just thinking of starting a net battle, that's not fair. <laughs> Damn, I didn't realize Higgs was such a dick, like, who gives a shit, man? <laughs> Damn. Well then, I feel bad for the customers, but apparently this place is so secret that we're not allowed to go in here, even though, like, you know, that giant-ass door is pretty... is pretty obvious about where we're going. So then, sorry about that, okay. So now let's follow Higsby to secret base. And it's just behind here. Of course it is. Uh, abracadabra. Really? That's how you do things? I see how that is. <laughs> Who would have thought there's a secret base behind here besides, you know, everyone. Where else would they do their office business? Come on now. Well, I'm glad Higsby is helping us out with this. Again, this would make more sense when where Hig if Higsby was a party member like he is in, um, Colonel, but this works too because he's a bro, right? And an office too. It's this way, man. I could I can imagine him being like a total hippie. He got the he has the hair for it. But whatever. So wow, so spacious. And he even got the the number man symbol. That's hilarious. A lot of cash has been gone to the equipment here. Okay. So that's nice. So now Noah, I'm sure Nebula does not pay attention to this guy at all. So it should be fine. It's just what we're looking for. There's no way they'd ever find us here. Awesome. Well, good good thing Higgsby is such a cool guy. Chill out, huh? It's a secret base. Okay. A secret base has to be secret, so he knows. <laughs> He's into comic books and stuff, I'm sure. So we're going to call him right now. Yo, man, we got a secret base. Oh, and he's already taking control of things. That's nice. This is an ideal mission control. <laughs> there's like Cheetos. I'm sure there's like Cheetos. I'm sorry. Doritos and Mountain Dew everywhere. Right? <laughs> it seems like. I, I'm sure that would be. It's a Higsby thing. I'm sure they'd get straight. Better get straight with the next mission plan. So we're going to call everyone. The surveillance alarm. Of what? Set it up on the door to the internet. Oh, someone's trying to get through. Okay, it's probably that one girl. Uh, I guess she, <laughs> I guess she finally found her way there. Not a civilian. <laughs> They'll never be able to handle the dangerous undernet. All right, so I guess we got to go all the way to that place. But before we do that, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll never be able to kick it. I'm, I'm, I, it's horrible. But there's HP memory to get in here, and if you jack into here, into an old computer, there's two very useful things we can get. The first one is regular memory. Right, regular up one. Of course, now that we can regular fast gauge, there's nothing else we really need to regular. But over here is something incredibly useful. This will be spin pink. Now I haven't really checked my uh, Navi customizer in a while, but is there anything we could do with spin pink? We could spin pink. Well, that's nice. But we could could we use that to our favor? Not not quite. There's nothing really we could do with that at all without giving us like some horrible horrible bug. So we'll just be holding off that off on that for a while. But is there anything else? Collect? Millions? We could take out spin actually, you know what? I I, I mean I don't need millions actually. There's no I have no use for that right now. But we if we were we'd get a bug if we put millions in here because we'd have too many colors, but if we replaced attack one with attack with a white attack one, then we'd actually be able to, um, well, we don't actually need this at all, because we already capped out an attack. But we could act oh, we, you know, let's just do that now, just so if I want to do that in the future, we'll be able to do it. So now if you want to put millions, we'd actually have a spare color to do it. But well, we won't be doing that right now. Um, there's really no purpose in doing that. We, we, we might be doing some stuff later, but again, we, we, we do want chips, so there's no point in millions right now. Maybe if I'm off-screen grinding, then yes. What I'd actually want more is bug frags, because I only have five bug frags, and we're actually coming off on a spot where having bug frags would be pretty keen. Not as cool, I mean, not as un- I don't even know what I was saying. I didn't want to jack in, that's what I wanted to say. So I guess we can go to- and uh, we can go to end area 5 right now. Uh, but you know what, I think I'll end the, off the part early. In the next part, we'll be going to end area 5 and seeing what that girl's been doing and probably trying to help her help herself or something. I don't know what we're doing, but we're going to be helping her next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 5. Until then, this has been Skip Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!